Sam from Road Trail Run, let's take a look at uh, three superb new ultra-oriented 2021 shoes. First, uh, on your right, we have the Endorphin Trail from Saucony, which weighs 11.1 ounces, 315 grams in a US 9. It comes out July 15th, $160. And next to it, in the blue, we have the 10-ounce, 283-gram US 9 Solomon Ultra, Ultra Glide. Uh, it's $140 and comes out early August. Finally, we have the VJ Ultra, the lightest of the crew here, 9.35 ounces, 265 gram. The VJ is $160 and it is out now. VJ Ultra is the nimble, flexible one in the group. Uh, it has a, a, a 3327 stack, so that's plenty of cushion. It's a relatively dense kind of EVA, but very has a touch of bounce. Uh, it has a Kevlar reinforced upper with that medial strap to really lock you down. It probably has uh, the least amount of toe box room of the group. It has the butyl, 100% butyl rubber uh, outsole, which grips on everything, even your parquet and concrete. Uh, my some of my fellow testers, Jacob Brady in Maine, just ran in a, a very rocky, rough race in the White Mountains of New Hampshire and said they were spectacular, if a bit cramped in the toe box on the steep downhills, while Jeff Valeri over in Boulder uh, set a, a Strava uh, route record uh, by almost 15 minutes in his uh, on very technical terrain. So this is your nimble, quick ultra shoe for the technical. So I've run mine in New Hampshire on the Rocky Rudy stuff, and they were just great. If the heel is a bit tippy, I found on uh, loose sand over hard pack out here in Park City, the grip was incredible, and it really leads the pack in that department. Next up, the bold and different Saucony Endorphin Trail with a 36.5, 32.5 uh, stack height, so the most stack height of the group at 11.1 .1 ounces 319 grams it's also the heaviest that stack adds up it has a uh, midsole made of power run pb the same as in the other endorphin but as you can see it's wrapped with a, um, a mesh if you will to protect it but also i found it keeps the the cushioning kind of consistent very springy very energetic um, it, it has saucony speed roll so this is the only rigid profile shoe in in the group um, so there's no flex a little bit at the front um, so it rolls along very smoothly on your kind of smoother trail its upper is an engineered mesh it is probably it's very breathable but quite dense and thick it is definitely the most supportive upper of the group and that's needed to keep the big stack under control the outsole is uh, the trail tack uh, with widely spaced lugs we found that um, on um, on obviously in mud it's very good uh, uh, I found that on sort of loose sand over a uh, hard pack it's not quite as good but on firm firm it's fine uh, it's probably not the best uh, outsole given the, the uh, widely spaced lugs for super rocky terrain of the bunch Next up, the August releasing Solomon Ultra Glide, 10 ounces, 283 grams, so very light, really, for a 32 millimeter heel, 26 millimeter forefoot, 6 millimeter stack. So it has uh, Solomon's new Energy Surge midsole, an EVA, um, EVA Olefin blend. This is a very energetic, softer midsole. It's the softest midsole of the bunch. It has the most energy return in terms of the upper. Uh, it's a well-designed engineered mesh. It's the roomiest and kind of most forgiving toe box. Maybe not quite as well held as the other two in that area. You have plenty of flexibility uh, from the soft mesh. And you, you also have a, um, a reverse camber approach here, as in some of their S-Lab shoes. So that camber and rocker really allow you to glide along. So this is a well-named shoe. In terms of the outsole, where you got four millimeter Conda grip, always reliable. Uh, this is probably the most versatile of the outsoles. So the Ultra Glide, a very pleasant energy, energetic ride, energy surge, well named, as is the shoe. So it probably isn't your shoe for the most technical trails. It does have a hardened or a, a firmer. Uh, uh, energy surge piece at, at the forefoot for protection um, but it is more kind of the more easy going of all these shoes so ideal shoe for those western smoother single track 
So let's go hands on. I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration. I've re recorded because it was so windy. So, all three of our contenders here on the porch railing uh, our endorphin trail, then our, um, our ultra glide, and finally our uh, VJ ultra. So, they all um, are lined up in weight order from heaviest on the right to lightest, and uh, the construction and the ride uh, reflect that. First, our VJ Ultra with its Kevlar upper uh, and its uh, butyl um, outsole, which really is the grippiest of the bunch. I found sometimes it gripped a bit too well at the heel, a uh, little bit of stumble, but you can see the upper is quite, um, is, is, is very, very well reinforced all over. There's the Kevlar. It has an unpadded uh, tongue. There's no booty here. Foothold is, is great. Toe box a little bit narrower and cramped, uh, but definitely not an issue. Finally, or next up, our Ultra Glide. You can see the wings that help secure the quick laces. The mesh is, is the softest in the toe box. This is the most comfortable toe box of the group, if not quite the most secure. We've got our Energy Surge midsole, uh, and then you can see the overlays that come up from the midsole up the sides. There's a whole array of underlays and overlays. Really a very, very comfortable, good fit. The Conagrip, definitely the most versatile outsole. Now then we have our, um, our Endorphin Trail with its beefy upper, its stretch, uh, uh, knit kind of tongue that's integral. There are no booty here. V it's really quite breathable uh, despite the thicker mesh the, um, and it has a series of overlays. You can see that it's not the most pliable. We've got that mesh covering the power uh, the uh, power run PB, PEBA midsole uh, that protects it. Um, I've never seen that um, in terms of that outsole. Yes, uh, it's the trail tack, widely spaced lugs, sort of a more soft ground outsole, which seems to run very well on hard pack surfaces, but not quite as well if things are kind of moderately loose, like sand uh, over hard pack or uh, potentially on rock because of the lower contact area. Oh, to summarize, so the Endorphin Trail, this is your rock and roll and cruiser. It has that power run PB midsole as in the Endorphin, other Endorphin uh, racers. So you've got an energetic uh, cushion that's very well contained by that innovative outer protective mesh. So uh, you've got lots of spring. The speed roll, the rocker profile, really lets this shoe roll along very steadily. However, because of the front being rigid, it maybe isn't quite as stable in technical terrain as some of the others. The upper is the most supportive and it's needed for this big stack. So this is your cruiser, your long distance, smoother trail cruiser. The Solomon Ultra Glide. Wow, this is a very different shoe from Solomon. The Energy Surge midsole is soft, very energetic, but it's well contained by the outsole and supported by that upper, which is the roomiest of the bunch. This is also a cruiser shoe, as is the Endorphin uh, Trail. Um, it's softer. It's kind of more, it's a little more fun, maybe not quite as stable up up front um, as say the VJ is, but this is an ideal shoe for Western single track uh, type trails and long distances. So this is really a very a good new um, shoe in the ultra world from, from Solomon. The VJ Ultra from uh, VJ's Finnish company specializes originally in orienteering, has the best grip in the group, uh, no question on just about any terrain. So its Kevlar reinforced upper is probably the snuggest in the toe box, but worthy of the technical terrain it'll, it'll be able to challenge. It has uh, plenty of cushion. It is the firmest of the group, but you'll need that for the stability it provides. So it's a flexible shoe um, with plenty of protection despite no rock plate. Um, it's the agile, kind of fast, technical contender in this group. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, so we have a full multi-tester review of the Endorphin Trail at RoadTrailRun.com, as well as a video here. We have a uh, video review of the initial of the Ultra Glide uh, here on uh, um, on the channel, and our multi-tester review of the VJ Ultra is coming soon. We hope you've enjoyed the video. And please consider subscribing to our channel and visit Road Trail Run for hundreds of detailed multi-tester reviews of all the latest and greatest running gear.